Oh shit. Okay. okay, so we are down here on the strip district. And it's a really crappy day out here. And the traffic is really bad too. And somebody, uh, well actually a couple of you have posed the question, well, do you see a lot of homeless people panhandling? What is panhandling? Panhandling is literally begging. Begging for money, begging for food, or whatever it is somebody might give you, or what you might want. Uh, well, I figured maybe today might be an appropriate day to talk about that, considering I'm a little under the weather today. And uh, the question is, would you actually see homeless people out here right now panhandling? Uh, the answer is yes. But at the same time, I would tell you that this is probably not a good day to panhandle because the last, it's kind of like sleet right now. And the last thing a, per, a homeless person wants to get into right now is get himself wet because that can spell disaster. I'm getting wet myself. I'm going to have to go dry off because I've been walking a lot today. So uh, panhandling is good at certain times of the day, weather permitting, because uh, when the weather's right and it's you know sunny outside, maybe not as cold and you're not in the wind, and there's more people about too. You see, it benefits both of you. You're the person panhandling, and depending on how many people are out. When it's rain and sleet like this, and it's cold and it's windy, not many people are gonna be out, even during the high points of the day. So you're not gonna make a lot of money. On the other hand, if it's sunny and it's warm or warmer, no rain, your, your chances of making money is going to significantly increase. So, with panhandling, I don't even see anybody doing it. I always see people panhandling, so I was gonna, I, I wanted to put it in the film if I could find somebody, because if I did, then I'd show it to you, and you'd get an idea of what, you know, what it's like. But in this weather, it's kind of iffy, because like I said, they know they're not gonna make a lot of money. Homeless people aren't stupid. Contrary to popular opinion, homeless people are not stupid. Homeless people know where to panhandle, they know where to make money, they know where they can get decent food, and the shelters and businesses and church establishments out here that handle and give out clothing, homeless people know where to go for that as well. The only thing that's hard for a homeless person is getting out of being homeless. But, you know, just like everything else in life, it just takes time. But. Yeah, panhandling on a day like this, not good. But I thought that was an interesting topic to discuss because, yes, there are a lot of homeless people that do it. Now, the trick is, with panhandling, is you have to be good at it. You have to be a professional at it. Some people who panhandle, and I can show them to you. I wish I really could get somebody on video to do it, but um, some people who panhandle, when you look at them, you wouldn't even know they're homeless. That's the, that's the idea. Because that's giving a presentation of yourself where you are trying to better yourself, you do shave, <coughs> excuse me, you do keep yourself clean, uh, you're not clothed in rags, and you're trying to make a difference and an advancement in your life. You'll get more money that way. Uh, for the people who have beards down here, they haven't washed their hair since 1979, they haven't taken a bath since 1985, they don't get a lot of money because people look at them and say oh come on look at this guy who the fuck would want to help him and i you know i i would have to agree how beautiful that church is we're gonna go right up to it so i would have to agree to those people i, I think appearance and presentation is everything don't hold a sign that says hungry and homeless okay just don't you don't have to do anything all you have to do is sit there with a jar in front of you and if you look presentable, and you don't look like you're starving to death, and you don't look like an emaciated corpse, you can make some money. Now, there are different variations. Other homeless people will tell you, you know, I do it this way, I do it that way. I'm just giving you, you know, one version. Uh, it, is, it is quite a process to learn. 
I don't recommend it. I'd actually rather work at a church or a restaurant or something and you know try to earn money. But because panhandling is time consuming, it's going to take you from morning till you know the sun goes down to get you know just maybe a couple of dollars, depending on how successful you are. Uh, but it's not something that I recommend. I, I just don't. There are enough places where you know if you're if you can't afford any food you can get food you can get food in the city you don't have to have any money you know you, you can i'm not going to say it's the best food in the world but just look at this church and i think my lens is starting to fog up so i'm going to probably have to close this video off but anyways that is a little bit of my view on panhandling. I, like I said, I am not a great advocate of it, just for obvious reasons. But if that is something that you think you need to do, just because, and you want to make some extra bucks, and you think it's not a waste of your time, and I say go ahead and do it. But for me personally, nah. I think there's other methods that you can employ that uh, probably can do you better. Sometimes honesty is the best thing. Go up to a couple of these business people and tell them your situation. And say, may I you know, sweep your floors or do something for 10 or 20 bucks? <coughs> it never hurts to ask. I mean, because all, if all you're looking for is pocket money, I think that might be a good first step. So. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for all your support. Uh, there's more to come. Please be patient. This is a very time-consuming process for me. I'm trying to gather as much information as I can and reveal to you guys, based even on my own experiences as well as other people's experiences. So as this series progresses, uh, you're going to get updated more. And when it's all said and done, you'll know more about being homeless than you could ever possible so with that said here's your last view of this beautiful strip and I will see you guys in the next vlog out